Only on 7 News, an exclusive look at a body farm. That's a research center where bodies are left to decompose in the elements. Scientists using those remains to help solve crimes across the country. And right now, one of those centers is under construction in western Colorado, modeled after a similar facility in Tennessee. 7 News reporter Mark Stewart traveled there to take us inside a place the public never gets to see. On the other side of the river, in the hills of Knoxville, Tennessee, sits a hidden research facility. Beyond the razor wire, a laboratory, one of a few in the world that is both scientific and sacred. It's a very serious atmosphere. The locals call it the body farm. How many bodies are here at one time? We have anywhere from about 150 to 190 at any one time. Human bodies donated to the University of Tennessee's Forensic Anthropology Center, a place where from death comes data that CSI teams are using to solve real life crimes. We have just over an acre. Some are now skeletons. So you have an artificial knee. This foot is from a body that's only a few days old. What we do here really matters. As a forensic anthropologist, Dr. Donnie Stedman studies the body for decomposition. She can determine how long someone has been dead, including victims of crime. We help law enforcement uh, find out what happened to somebody. To do that, bodies are placed in simulated crime scenes, on the ground, in a car, even a noose. Insects, even odors, all lead to clues. The public is not allowed here, but since the 80s, police, prosecutors and coroners are regular visitors. This is not something you can do, study in an indoor laboratory. No, you cannot simulate this type of work. From identifying plane crash victims to mass graves in war zones, the changes that take place after death all help to answer the investigators tough questions. And we can help provide those answers. It may not be the answers that they want to hear, but it does provide closure in some way. The idea of a body farm may seem gruesome, but respect for the donors is never lost. It's their generosity that allows all of this to happen and we never forget that. And what's happening here in Tennessee will soon happen in Colorado. Not far from Grand Junction, construction is underway for the first high altitude body farm to teach forensic science students at Colorado Mesa University. The fenced area behind will be the outdoor facility or our outdoor research laboratory. Unlike Tennessee, it's a dry desert on the western slope. The lack of humidity and the intensity of the sun and all of that makes a huge difference in how tissues decay. An entirely new environment to conduct research that could help Colorado coroners solve local crimes. Just has the opportunity to increase your knowledge base. To provide answers to solve cases like the murder of Cody Vernon. The gypsum team was found four years after she was reported missing. Markings on her bones revealed she was likely stabbed. The body farm could help solve similar cases. The science is, is, is paramount because you can't prove a case just based on what you think. From the southeast to the mountain west. It's maybe not questions that, scientific questions that people have on their mind all the time, but when it matters, it's important to have that science there. A way to bring justice, even in death. In Mesa County, Colorado, Mark Stewart, 7 News. Mark learned that donors have to make specific arrangements with each university in order for their remains to be used in that program. And then once the bodies decompose, the skeletons are then used to teach medical and anthropology students.